Here's a question I put on the trigger finals, and I want to show you a shortcut on how to evaluate this type of problems. At the very heart of this type of problem is this thing called a unit circle. In a unit circle, the radius is 1, and using Pythagorean theorem, you can see if this angle is 45 degrees, which means this angle equal to this angle, therefore this short leg and this short leg is equal to each other. Using Pythagorean theorem, you can solve each side is radical 2 over 2. Now this is the base how we're going to evaluate all those special angles, because because if we duplicate the similar situation on this time with 30 degrees, which leaves this angle here 60 degrees, so 30, 60, and a right triangle here would leave the ratio to be 1 and a half. Now 30 degrees has a special property in that the opposite angle where the 30 degrees is directly looking at is always half of what the hypotenuse is. Now using Pythagorean theorem for this triangle, you'll see this leg, shorter, little longer leg, is going to be radical 3 over 2. Now this is the base where we're going to start plugging every special angle in, and here's how. Let's evaluate the last term here first because it's the easiest one to deal with. Here we have cosine of 9 pi over 4, since cosine's porosity is 2 pi, so for every 2 pi it's going to repeat itself. So if I split this one into 8 pi plus pi, this chunk basically goes away because this equal to cosine pi over 4 in that it repeats itself. Now with cosine pi over 4, earlier we've had luck in dealing with the circles. So basically we have cosine, which is x. Incidentally, this is how I teach my students to remember. Cross x, so cosine has a c in there. I don't know if it helps you or not, but cosine cross x. So uh, x value is going to be our cosine value. Since it's pi over 4, that's 45 degrees. We're going to read in this unit circle what the x value is. For us, is radical 2 over 2. So here's radical 2 over 2. Next, let's evaluate the two tougher ones. What makes this two tougher is one, there's a negative angle and that they are not their basic sine and cosine angles. So we have to convert them first. Uh, another trick here, if you care to see, if uh, one trick, identity, uh, trick name starts with a C, the other one starts with the S, so it's the inverse of each other. Uh, let's split them up and uh, evaluate each one of them individually using our circle. Here I've divided our circle back into pi over 4, and you can see I numbered them. So here's 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, and 3 pi over 4. So all we want to know is what the va y value is. The reason we want to know the y value is because it's a sign. Uh, there's a cute uh, little thing one student of mine showed with me. Think of a sign as a sinky. So it's a y value over here. So what we really care just what this y value is for this chunk of a sine 3 pi over 4. And how how do we find this y value? Let's see. Well, the way we do it is our familiar triangle over here. This is 45 degrees because we've taken 3 of the pi over 4 and there's only pi over 4 left. Using our pi over um, 45 degree angle, we'll see that this is radical over 2, radical over 2. As a matter of fact, um, this should be a minus over here. But since we're only interested in the y value, this is a sign, so stinky over here, uh, we just care this radical over 2, over 2. So this chunk over here becomes 1 over radical 2 over 2. All right, let's take a look at what do we do with the other chunk. Now for this one over here, since it's a minus angle following the convention, we have to go clockwise. So here I divided the circle into six segments at a time. So here's one unit, two, three, we got pi over two over here, four and five. So this angle we're really investigating is actually going backward to here. Now next thing we do is we know this is cosine. Now remember cosine is uh, x 
crossing, right? C-R-O-S-S-I-N-G. So this is the crossing X. So we're looking for the X value. What we're interested in is here. And how do we find that? Well, let's dig into our back uh, 30 degrees angle triangle again. Here's I'm trying to attempting to hashtag this triangle out. In order to find this chunk, we know from earlier work, this one is going to be radical 3 over 2. And since it's negative on this coordinates, we have x equal to minus radical 3 over 2. And that's the value we need to use. Okay, now putting everything together, we have 1 over radical 2 over 2 for this one. Minus this was 1 over radical 3 over 2 with a minus sign. And this was the easiest one to do. Okay, now some simplification, we can get the answer pretty quickly. So what we did here is simplify this one. And I rationalized the, the denominator here so I can simplify into a, a real number, a whole number without the radical sign. And here's the final answer over here. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment or share this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.